Your life is a complete choice, whether you're gonna be miserable or happy. It, it, it truly is a choice. And I have many days I choose misery. I mean, we all do. But if you can choose, even when you're miserable, to do a greater good, how can my being a part of the Treasure Valley make somebody else's life better? That's what you should do. Brian Hoyt is doing just that right here in the Treasure Valley. He runs a successful business called Poor Man Window Cleaning. The name of his company reveals some of the struggles he's had in life. Every week he makes a big difference in our community, one bowl of hearty soup at a time. Maggie O'Mara has his inspiring story in tonight's Seven Zero. I'm gonna put some Italian sausage in here. Every Saturday, Brian Hoyt makes a huge batch of soup. I make soup for the homeless. I, I call it help feed our homeless. Gotta put lots of potatoes in here. We are in Idaho after all. I make six, about five and a half, six gallons of soup and I make, a, I try to make a different recipe each week and kale. This week I'm doing a Zuppa Toscana, bean potato kale, Italian sausage. Oh man, that looks so good. So how much would you say you spend a month on this? Uh, I spend probably about $600 a month. And you do all the cooking yourself? Yes, I do. Each pot of soup has three to four hours of time in it. Three to four hours of love. Yes. In that soup. There is, there is. There's three to four hours of love in it. It's a good hearty soup. The first time he did it was right after Thanksgiving of last year. And I just started making soup and going downtown to the parks and wherever I could find a pocket of people that may be hungry and giving them a hot bowl of soup. They told me about Corpus Christi House. How you doing, Dwight? Corpus Christi House is Boise's daytime sh homeless shelter. So that means we're open from 8.30 in the morning and currently as the cooling center, we're open till 8 p.m. seven days a week, all year long. Soup, sir? He asked if he could bring his soup to the people at Corpus Christi House and he got a big yes. Brian is here for us every Saturday. He brings everything already prepped with a smile, with a great team. He says the best part is serving his meal That's to people in need. Nice. They always appreciate it and, and they even say, wow, this is like what grandma used to make me. This is what, this, this tastes like home. That's something that you don't have when you're homeless. It's not just about feeding them, it's about showing them that they are people, that they are cared and, that someone is out there for him. Brian has had his own struggles. I have been homeless. That's why this means so much to him. I was living in my car. I was there for nine months. There are people who are there for years. He says showing up with a home cooked meal every Saturday warms his heart. Now that I go every week, People are getting comfortable with me, so they'll talk to me. They'll, they'll tell me about their parents. They'll tell me about their brothers, the traumas, the experiences they've had. It's amazing. It's really, it's awesome. The meal today was delicious. Shelter visitor Roy Contreras says his soup and the love he puts into it is so appreciated. We really enjoyed it. You know, we enjoy the food here. You know, we were blessed to be fed. And meeting him. He's like an amazing guy. I want to thank him very much uh, for coming in and you know helping us out and feeding us and you know just being here for us every Saturday. Brian is applying for nonprofit status. He wants his Saturday soup idea to grow and he wants to get more people in our community involved. If there was a way I could sustain a life off of giving, that would be my ultimate dream. Feeding more and helping others. Brian Hoyt. I just like the way it makes me feel. And would you like a bowl of soup? Seven's hero. Now, if you'd like to volunteer or donate to Brian's efforts to feed the homeless, you could reach out to him. We'll tell you how you can do that in this story at KTVB.com. By the way, Brian also power washed the shelter free of charge, and he does so many other wonderful things for our community. You can follow him and his good deeds on his Facebook page.